Hey guys, welcome back. Got some updates for you. We have cucumbers, our enemy of uh, our bunny is back, and I have some things to harvest and I needed to record a video, so I might as well do it now. So first things I'm super excited for is our cucumbers. We have cucumbers, guys. Look! I don't know if you remember, but we haven't had success with cucumbers since the very first time. Oof, I can't even get that one. The very first time. Oh, here goes this big one. Look. We grew cucumbers. Um, I should remember the name of it, but I honestly don't. Um, but I'll make sure I put tell Brad to put it in the little somewhere here. But yeah, they've been growing actually really well. Um, I'm surprised. We have even... Where is my bee? Is he in there? I don't know, but the bees have been coming back and they've been helping us immensely with our cucumbers. So that's been great. And then I added some more cucumbers over here. Again, I can't tell you which ones these are, but we're getting some flowers there. That's super exciting. It's lovely. Um, might as well take you over here. We have our eggplant, which I actually need to, little lizard. I need to harvest, actually. These are the camo eggplants. They're so cute. This one's probably ready to go. It's super heavy. Um, but I should probably grab it before um, something else grabs it. Which you'll find out what's been grabbing stuff in our garden. But this has been great. We have that one. This one's been doing really well. I probably should come and put some support on these. Because uh, this one has a lot of uh, flowers. So I'm expecting a lot of eggplant on here to come very soon. And then more eggplant did i over exaggerate with eggplant maybe maybe not and then look at these are the pepper plants that were ravaged by the hurricane there is some browning on the leaves i have to figure out what that is but look there's a pepper coming in um we have more pepper plants here that are trying to survive and thrive more eggplant i haven't seen any of my long eggplants growing yet um so we'll see, hopefully we get one soon. I'm still holding out hope, but I think it's time to call it um, with this eggplant. It's just been so droopy and sad lately. It's still growing blossoms and everything, but it's just been there. Our very sad sweet peas. They got crusty. I did plant some new ones right here. Um, so I hope those take off uh, soon. And then if you come back over here, I got some things. I what is that? Is this a t uh, Oh, guys. <laughs> That's a tomato plant just randomly growing in the mulch. Can I leave it there? I'm going to leave it there. But anyway, um, so we have our green beans here. And there's actually some that are ready to go. These are still a little young. But this has been doing good. Um, I see why they tell you to plant. A lot of green beans because if you want oh maybe did I let oh I let this one go a little bit too long that's a big that's a big green bean um, I see why they tell you to grow so many I love green beans um, and I feel like sometimes I just don't get enough but I think this is only like what two green beans next time I'm gonna plant more especially for me like I said I love eating them and this is like a snack. They don't even make it in the house. What? Yeah, no, they don't. They don't make it in the house. Because I just... Because while I'm sitting here looking at things, I'm like, oh, let me snack. I have some fresh snacks in my hand. And I just been... Every time I see like a little vine growing out, I'll just try and put it back on the, the fence. Is that it? For now? I want to say so. See? Like, these, this is a snack handful. That's why they disappear. So we have our green beans there growing nice and beautiful. Um, I showed you this. Those very sad tomatoes. Those are, I think those are bush romas. And I'm not holding out any hope for them. I mean, I would love for them to grow, but I'm not holding out any hope because they were neglected. When we went on our cruise, they came, I came back to very sad ones. And it's still surviving and thriving. 
We'll come over here. This is the sad part. So originally I had two Napa cabbages in this bed and this whole little quadrant square was filled up with some bok choy. Our neighborhood rabbit seems to be back because it pulled out my cabbage that was growing beautifully and it ate a lot of my bok choy. So we're probably gonna look into getting this, just putting some netting over it and see if that deters them. When I say them, I mean it. There's only one well, that I know that comes over here. Um, so we'll see. But we have our kale is growing in. This is our dinosaur kale. That's growing in beautifully. I cannot wait till that gets huge. We have, this is a first for me. This is the red Russian kale. Well, that's growing beautifully. And then our beautiful Napa cat. Look at how gorgeous. Ugh, and it was growing just as beautiful. What is that bug in there? Get out. And then we have some more red Russian. I did go and randomly start planting calendula around here. So that's what you see popping up there. I have my one, <laughs> my one onion <laughs> growing in there. Is it going to get big? I don't know. All right. We have our problem patch here. Um, this is our flower bed. Um, as beautiful as it is, you can see we got some powdery mildew. So um, I did not know flowers can get powdery mildew. That's sad, but I am going to rip all these up um because i don't want it to spread to my other plants and you see it's there it's right here and it's right here oh i'm gonna fall and it's over here so as beautiful as these flowers are it's time to rip them up because i don't want it to spread to my other beds and then over here oh look it these are our bush green beans i think these is is this the, i don't know if this is the mardi gras mix Ooh, maybe I could do something. Look at all these green beans. <gasps> maybe I could do something with these today. I'm just going to pick all these up. Ooh, there's quite a bit. Ooh. Oh, wow. Do I like the bush beans better than the pole beans? Maybe. Ooh. No, they don't. They do grow bushy. I think I would look up um, next time when we decide to grow these again, um, a way to keep them off the ground. Um, I mean, although it's not really causing a problem, I still, oh, I just, just bent it. You. I just bent it. Well, there goes that. But I wonder why there has to be something why it just rips off like that. Oh, that's sad. Well, I did get a whole bunch. That's fun. Here we have, um, ooh, what is that? Mm, I see a little web thing there. That means that something was on here. I don't know what is on here. I want to say this is a squash here. Over here we have our other squashes. We have our other squashes here. One, two, oh, does this have powdery mildew on it or is it just the plant? Mm, I think it's just a plant. I don't know. Zoom in. You guys, is this just a plant or is this powdery mildew? Tell me if you know. Um, and then in here, I grew some more radishes there. Those are all going to be little radishes. More squash. Another bush bean. Let me be careful with this one. I don't know if they should be so fragile. Is it? I wonder if it's my soil. You know, they're not supposed to be that fragile. It's still not supposed to be that fragile. That's it. And then we have our zombie loofah. It's growing. We have a few loofahs actually growing on here. So that's been fun. It's been really good. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the carrots. We have some carrots growing over here too. Ace wanted to grow some carrots. So that's what we got growing here. We have, I think, two rows on this side and two rows on that side. One of them is the colorful carrots and the other one are just the regular orange carrots. Do I know which type of carrots they are? No, I don't. I just know that they're carrots. But they're growing nicely. We'll see how we get them because this is only 11, um, an 11 inch bed. I'm hoping that it just grows deep in the ground like our radishes did. 
So hopefully we get some good carrots from there. And then behind us, we have our pepper bed and our eggplant bed. And our peppers are actually looking really healthy. I'm excited about that. This is a really healthy pepper. Um, that one, and there's a third one in there. And then this is another long purple eggplant. I still don't see eggplants. But that's it. That is our fun update for now. I'm gonna take, I actually have green beans for, <laughs> for dinner. For me, because I'm the only one that eats these things. Brad says he eats them, but it's probably like one or two. I, on the other hand, do eat them. So I'm excited about this. And that is our, uh, oh, and I need to harvest that eggplant. I don't want Peter Rabbit cutting and grabbing it before I do. But that's it, that's our update. Excited about the eggplants. Excited about the cucumbers. That's what I'm really excited about is that we had successful growth of cucumbers. So we'll see what happens to those other two baby cucumbers. Um, yeah, and we're moving right along. I'm still not done planting stuff. I still have time. It's the perks about living in Florida is that we have a very long growing season with no frost dates. So I could grow, I'm not too worried about my bok choy or the cabbage that was taken out because I could always just go ahead and plant another one. And I have more than enough time to go ahead and um, see it all the way through harvest. So that's it, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.